All right, guys, so it is October, middle October, and you know what time that is. It's squirrel season, rabbit season, small game season. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the 20 gauge versus the 410, which I have right here. I'm gonna be pattern testing them. We're gonna be talking about which one I like best for shooting squirrels, which one I have more memories with, and which one's probably better. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna be doing that right now on this here range. Here we go. Alright guys, I got my target set up down there. I'm going to be doing this test at about 30 yards because most trees way up there about 30 yards and if you get them out here a little bit, it's about 30 yards. I know what it looks like at 10 yards. At 10 yards, these things are going to destroy whatever's in front of them. That's a given. You're going to have way too many BBs involved. At 15 yards, same thing. 20 yards, same thing. I know you know what a 20 gauge will do to a can at 20 yards. 410, same thing. So here we go guys, we're gonna do it. All right guys, so we got a little one right here for his head, little one for the vitals and the body, back legs, all right, if you wanna be funny. Okay, little eyeballs, just to make it personal. A couple of ear, little ears right there, rock and roll. Oh, we need two front legs. Doesn't look like a squirrel, but we'll just make the tail bushy. Hey okay, guys, so for this test, we're gonna be using two different shells, okay? I'm going to use the 7.5 Sure Shot Heavy Dove Load and 20 gauge because this is what I've always shot squirrels with. Knocks them down. Here in Florida, the squirrels aren't quite so big, so if you're up north, you probably want to use 6 shot for this test. But 7.5 just seems to always knock them down here in Florida. And with the 410, you got a lot more pattern in the shell. One second. Here's what I've been using for um, squirrels here in Pensacola. Here in Florida, all right. I've got I got I've got these Winchester Super X's right here. This is what I've been using. They're great snake shot. They're heavy enough to knock squirrels down, and they're in three inch magnum size. All right, see 11 16th ounce right here. Can you see that? You might be saying, why aren't I using six shot? Because six shot and a 410 get a lot less BBs. Yeah, you know the spread's a little better and a little more knockdown power. But I've been shooting these since I was like 12. And the Remington version too and seven and a half since I was like 12. Every time I go bang, they fall down. And I don't seem to tear them up as much. So you might be saying, why don't I like using a 12 gauge? Well, a 12 gauge will obliterate anything up close. And the key difference in a squirrel gun is you don't want to obliterate the squirrel because then you can't eat him. So it's the up close point part. It's the shooting up close part that is the problem with these bugs are killing me out here. But it's the up close part of squirrel hunting that is the problem with shotguns. Because that squirrel always walks out at like 10 yards. And then when you go to shoot him, you obliterate him. 410 doesn't quite do that as bad as the 20. And the 20 doesn't do it nearly as bad as a 12 gauge because there'll be nothing left. So that's the point I'm trying to get across. So, so here we're going to pattern the 410 at 30 yards. We're going to do the 20 gauge at 30 yards. And then I'm going to back it up and show you at 40-ish the big difference. All right guys, I'm in full video mode right here. All right, so if you look right down there with the NCO chop right there, you will see that I have a target set up down there at about, it's roughly 30 paces, guys. We're hearing about it. It's got a cute little squirrel face on him, a little body face. And the first shot I'm gonna take right here with my little 410 break open, okay? I got this thing when I was like 11. It was in my grandpa's corner in his bedroom. I stared at it for like two years, begged him to let me shoot it. Then he let me have it right here. It's a little Stevens Model 94. You can literally get these things at pawn shops for like nothing. 50, 60 bucks, probably cheaper than that. Yard sales, you can find these things right here. They're little break opens, as you can see. Um, single shot with a hammer. And what I did is I outfitted it with a little pouch right here because, you know, you gotta have quick access to your ammo when you got a single shot. So I put this little pouch on here that holds the rounds right here. And uh, it works pretty good. And that way I don't ever forget your ammo because that can happen, you know, seriously. You can get all the way out there and ammo's in the truck or at the house. That sucks. But so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these bad boys right here, check make sure there's nothing in there because you don't want any debris in there. 
So I looked down there one day and it was a grasshopper in this bad boy. Good thing I checked it. He was camping out in there. Back to shooting, all right. So I'm gonna take this here seven and a half. And I'm gonna put lead down there on target on that little squirrel. And it's really hard to see his head down there. But I know about where it is. All right guys, so there's two factors in squirrel hunting. You gotta keep it cheap and you gotta keep it fun because they're little critters. We don't need nuclear bombs going off on a squirrel. So that's why I like to use cheap, small stuff. Yard sale shotgun. It's the same way with my 22. I don't like buying $10 box ammo for my 22. I use what's cheap. We're talking the bulk box. And they still hit them and they still die. So you ain't gotta get crazy with these little guys. They're just little critters that run, they're little rats that run around the trees. So just about anything will knock them down. Sixes are better, seven and a halves will do. If you're out there in Michigan country where you got bears running through the trees because they're so big or fox squirrels, use a five or six. Just keep it rational. And if they don't fall, I'll shoot them again. Because in squirrel hunting, first point is shoot a lot. You know what I mean? Here we go. All right, squirrels down there. Earplugs. Because believe it or not, this, this little 410 here is loud. We're aiming for the head. And if we miss, we hit the body. It helps to have something to rest on when you're patterning your shotgun. You want a true pattern. This thing's tight. All right, guys, let's see what kind of damage we did here. As you can see, I got one center mass here, got one in the ear hole, and a uh, bunch over here at Fluffy, Fluffy's tail. As you can see, there's a few over here, too. So, 30 yards, 410, stretching it. We're stretching it at 30 yards, guys, with a little brush gun. It's a great snake gun. It's good for sub 30 yard shots. But if you're sneaky, you can still get them. Promise you. All right, so the next time, the next gun I'm gonna use is my uh, a 20 gauge. My 20 gauge Remington 870. It's probably the best squirrel gun out there because you can put a full choke in it, modified choke. You can use three inch shells, two and three quarter inch shells. It'll reach out there and get them at 30, 35. No problem. And uh, this year I've even tried going into using these steel shots. Why? Because where I squirrel hunt, there's also a lot of duck. So you never know when you gotta throw two different things at them, you know, squirrels or ducks. They, they were cheaper than lead, don't judge. So this next round, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the 20 gauge sure shot heavy dev loads. I'm not gonna waste my steel on this because I mean, it's gonna be roughly fairly the same. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna change my idea of whether I'm using my shotgun or not. So I know 30 yards is tops for the 410, seven and a half. You might get a little tighter pattern with six, but that's a long shot for a squirrel. I mean, that's a long shot, look. He's way out there. I can't even hardly hit a deer with my bow at 30. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, he's gonna know I was there in the morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fling an arrow at him, but 410, he's, he's tapped out. So, moving right along. All right, guys, so I got the target set up down there at about the same spot. I'm shooting from the same position. The sign down there has not moved. I darkened the squirrel in a little bit because he was hard to see last time. And I'm gonna shoot him right here. Seven and a half inch sure shot heavy dove load. It's the weapon of choice, because they're cheap. Remember, cheap, fun, not $10 box shells around here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, put another round on target down there. We're gonna see, it's 30 yards. 30 yards, people. Considerable more power down there. All right, come right along, guys. Come right along. I'm gonna go for a walk. So I'm rocking a full choke because I'm not shooting anything on the fly here. And if they're running, it's not a good chance of hitting them anyways. But I'll show you considerably more shot on target with this bad boy. There's still about the same amount in the kill zone. So take a look at this. See, right here, we got a lot more shot on target, right? A lot more in the circle here. But in the vital areas, one, two, three, four, five, six. One just missed him right here. So it's really almost about the same. That's with a full choke at 30 yards, seven and a half inch, or seven and a half shot. I'm saying about the limit of the 20 gauge is about 30-ish yards. So I know that if I keep this in my mind, that in 30 yards, that's my parameter. If not, I gotta, I gotta sneak a little closer. 
Now, the sixth shot, I'll probably reach out there a little further, but I'm gonna take one more shot of each and I'm gonna show you my point is up close is where the money's made with squirrel guns and rabbit guns because you don't tear them up. So I'm gonna shoot two more up close and we're gonna get the point. All right guys, can you see that target right there, the little one? That's what I'm gonna shoot on this one. That's like half the distance. We're talking 15 yards, give or take a little bit. And when you get a squirrel up close, these gnats are killing me out here. When you get a squirrel up close, that's the difference because when he's close, you can shoot at him without destroying him or letting him get further away, waiting, and then he gets away because you waited for him to get further away. So, same way with, same way with rabbits. You don't ever know when they're gonna come out, how close. So I'm gonna throw one down range like this, and we're gonna see. So I've shot a lot of close squirrels and very much left. We're pattern testing here. This is trial and error. So you, it's like bow hunting. You gotta figure out how your gun works. So I did a little redo on that shot because you really couldn't see because of the target. So here we go guys, here's the verdict. As you can see, there's a lot of BBs in there in the kill zone up close, a lot of around. Now the 20 gauge, the 20 gauge will destroy it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because y'all call me out if I don't. Just gotta do one more shot at like 20 yards. All right, same distance, 20 gauge. My ears are ringing. These army issue earplugs aren't fitting properly. Now, here's my point, guys, here's my point. Look. All right, focus, okay. Money up close with this 20 gauge. All right, see all this? You ain't eating this boy. You ain't eating him. He's done, absolutely done. All right guys, this proves my point about, you know, 20 gauge is the most awesome long range squirrel gun probably. Up close, which you're gonna get a lot of shots up close, the 410 won't tear him up as bad. Up close, a 20 gauge will destroy the squirrel. So that's my point guys, that it's a give and get. You either have up close or you have down range. It's not all about down range, it's about whether you can eat the squirrel after you shoot him. And up close you ain't eating that last squirrel. That's a promise. So all right guys, I just wanted to let y'all know my process of squirrel hunting this year. Fixing to get in the woods here in like 15 days. We're, uh, I'm pretty excited, pretty pumped because squirrel hunting is probably one of my favorite, most favorite things because they're so fast, fun. They're everywhere, you get to shoot a lot. It's exciting and on public land, nobody hunts them. So you got tens of thousands of acres to go on for months before deer hunters get in the woods. And it's a heck of a lot of fun. So, hope you enjoyed this guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what kind of shotgun you use and the loads you use so we can all share the information. And I'll see you guys later.